Welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to be trying out Princess Diana's skincare routine for a week. I actually found an article from the 1990s and it shows all of the products that she used. Good morning lovely. So before I go into Princess Diana's skincare routine, I want to show you this cool new toothbrush that I got from Oshlian. And I also got this really cool water pick as well. And the toothbrush is an ultrasonic toothbrush and it has like its own digital interface and it's a wireless charger so I can charge it and then it lasts for 180 days and it's really cool it has all these different modes when you turn it on as you can see it has like that digital interface and the first mode is the white mode and then I can change the intensity the duration so it's set on like a two minute timer it's really cool, it kind of reminds me of like an iPhone or something with the digital interface. And then it has this really cool cap, so it's good for traveling. It also comes in this really cute pink color and they're having a Valentine's special right now. And the water pick's really cool as well. I do floss my teeth all the time, but I like this because sometimes I find that the floss can be hard on my gums. And the water pick's really easy because you put it around your teeth and it works really well. And it's really easy to fill. You just fill the tank in the bottom with water and then you basically stick it back in like that. And then you push the button and then you just go through each individual tooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth and do the water flosser. And then we'll get jump into Princess Diana's routine. Wow, that was a crazy experience. The toothbrush, because of the the sonic waves, you barely have to touch your teeth. So you don't even really need to brush them. You kind of almost like gently glide it across your teeth. And it was really gentle. My teeth feel like super smooth. And I didn't even do it the full two minutes. It was like 30 seconds, but they feel so clean. Like, and I barely touched it, it's super gentle, but there's the sonic waves just really clean. It was incredible. And then the water picks really easy to use too. You just glide it on each tooth and it shoots it between the gums. So. Yeah, I've never experienced this on a toothbrush and I highly recommend it. It's on sale right now, so it's like really affordable, the price point. And you can buy the toothbrush heads on their website as well if you want a few of them. And yeah, they're having a crazy Valentine's sale right now, so I highly recommend it. All right, let's jump right into Princess Diana. And she used Clarins as well as a Lush moisturizer. And I usually do my makeup before I come on here and talk to you guys, but I thought It'd be fun to actually do my makeup while I describe the skincare products that she uses in her routine. And I think I'm going to do kind of a light blue eyeshadow look today since I'm wearing like a nice 1960s dress. And I have done a few Princess Diana videos in the past, so make sure you check those ones out. And I was really excited to do this one because I'm obviously a huge fan of Princess Diana and I remember her from when I was a kid always looking at old photos of her and I really do remember the day that she unfortunately passed away. I remember it was like an August summer day and I remember I was watching TV with my brother and this was back in 1997 I believe and I was just about to start grade 8 and that was like high school where I live. I remember watching TV, I think we were watching like Full House or something like that. At the bottom of the TV screen, a little headline came up and it says Princess Diana is in the hospital under critical condition from a car accident. I saw that as a headline and it was like really shocking and I think I went and go, got my mom and told her what was going on. And then I think I remember briefly after that, it says that she had passed away. And I remember it just being such a shocking thing. It was like all over the news and then like so many people were lining up like putting flowers outside of buckingham palace and everything everyone called her the people's princess and i don't know i've just always been fascinated by her and i also really love the show the crown um i'm pretty much caught up now with all the seasons i watched the latest season with princess diana in it and i also watched the new diana movie called spencer it was kind of interesting but i didn't like it because it kind of made princess diana look bad and I didn't really like the way they portrayed her but it's an interesting movie it's very stylistic it kind of reminds me of a Sofia Coppola movie and previously a few years ago when I did my Princess Diana video I never got to actually use all of these products so I actually want to try them out now and use them 
So she was a huge fan of Clarence and Clarence has been around since 1954. So it's definitely a vintage brand. And I know Queen Elizabeth also uses Clarence. So it's been around for a while and it's very popular in the royal family. And it is from Paris, France. So I do like that it is Parisian brand and that it's from the 50s. So those are two good things in my books. And based on the article from the magazine that I found online, it says that she used the Clarence Multi-Active Day Cream and this is made with plant extracts and it's supposed to visibly reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles and promote radiance and restore your youthful looking skin. And I really like the light pink color in this cream. I thought it was really nice and I did find it to be very hydrating and I think the price point was pretty good in my opinion. It's not like a super expensive luxury brand, but it has that luxury feel. And she also used the Clarins Cleansing Milk with Alpine Herbs. This was an interesting one because I found that it really did help to cleanse my skin and keep it moisturized. And I really liked the calming and soothing effect to it. And it did work well at removing my makeup as well. It did sting a little bit around the eyes. I found it, it says on the bottle that you can use it to remove your eye makeup, but personally, I prefer ponds. It did irritate my eyes a little bit, so I don't know if I'd recommend it for that, but it was really nice and it can even remove lipstick apparently too. And the next item that she used is the Clarins Yellow Toning Lotion. And this one is used to balance the skin and it's an alcohol-free toning lotion. And then this one is enriched with organic aloe vera and organic fig. It moisturizes and softens the skin. And it's supposed to balance the skin flora. I thought this one was quite soothing and nice, but again, it came out a little too fast on my cotton pad. I did think it was nice. It didn't have enough exfoliation in my opinion, but it was a nice toner. And the next product that she used is the Clarins Eye Gel. And this one is supposed to reduce the under eye puffiness and diminish dark circles. And it's supposed to also tone the eyelids. Princess Diana was a huge fan of Lush and she actually collaborated with the, one of the co-founders of Lush and he interviewed her and to find out some of her favorite skincare products and different ingredients and some of her favorite face creams and then together they collaborated and created the Lush Gorgeous Moisturizer. I actually don't mind this moisturizer and this one is made with like a lot of really high-end ingredients and oils. I believe it is $89 and it's a fairly decent sized container and I love the smell of it too. So the only thing I don't like is the packaging because I think it's a little bit boring and handmade looking, but I guess it's good because you can recycle it and then the end of the day, you don't really want to buy something that winds up in a landfill. And I've been loving it every day. It's so moisturizing. It's actually my favorite product from the whole collection. So now that we've talked about all the products that she used, let's jump right in and actually try her skincare routine for a week. Hello lovelies, so today is day one of Princess Diana's skincare routine and I'm about to use the Velvet Cleansing Milk with, it has apple pine and lemon balm extract. I'm excited to, to try this. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. I'm trying to see if I can smell anything and rub it. It feels really moisturizing, actually. Mmm, it smells good, too. Just gonna gently rub it on my skin. I like this. This feels good. It's very moisturizing. This is interesting. It kind of reminds me of a cold cream. But it, just, it doesn't have a strong scent or anything. But it feels very moisturizing. Could almost leave it on as a mask or something. So I'm gonna rinse this off quickly. So my skin feels really good. It's not bad. Now I'm gonna use the toner, hydrating toner, the hydrating toning with aloe vera. So I'm gonna dab some on here. Ooh, this one smells really good. It has saffron flower. Mmm, that's nice. And I'm trying to be gentle. Skin and just gently rub the toner. It smells really good. I probably took too much. To be honest, I like really saturated the cotton pad. I don't think I needed that much. I always have a tendency to overuse the skincare products. And this feels really nice on my skin. 
I like it. It's very gentle. It feels very natural. And now I'm gonna finish everything with two creams. The first one is the Clarins Multi Active Cream. This one smells pretty good. It feels like a really nice light pink cream. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my face. Mmm, smells nice. It feels really pure. Ah, I like that. It's like luxurious. And then we have the eye contour gel. This is for puffiness and dark circles. So I'm gonna put a little bit. Ooh. It's very gel-like. Oh, geez, whoops. Way too much. My bad. I wasn't expecting to come out that quickly. Interesting texture. Put that one on. I wonder if it's more for morning. Yeah, this is for morning. Interesting. So I'll probably save that for the morning next time. I wasn't sure. And lastly, I'm going to use the Gorgeous Cream from Lush. And this one was formulated originally for Princess Diana. It smells really good. It kind of feels like I didn't get very much. It's like not full to the brim. Hmm. It's kind of disappointing. Just take a little bit from the lid, put it on. It feels really good. It smells good. The moisturizing. It's very therapeutic. It feels like I'm at a spa. Yeah, I like this so far. Except I wish the cream is not entirely full. Just a little odd considering this shit's freaking expensive. And I'll check back with you guys in the morning. I have like a cat hair stuck in my face. And let you know how my skin feels tomorrow morning. But so far so good, I'm liking it. Uh, good morning lovelies. Oh man, I'm so tired. It's my first day back at work after being away for just over a week for being sick. So it's 5.30 in the morning and I'm not used to getting up this early. So I'm gonna start with the Velvet Cleansing Milk. I went to bed at like 11. I feel like I woke up a bunch because I was like anxious. So hopefully tonight I'll sleep a bit better. I don't start work tomorrow till eight, which is better than six. So I think I'll sleep a bit better. I do. Oh, this cleansing looks nice. It has a really nice aroma to it. I really like it. And I think if you have dry skin, this would be so good in the winter. Like really soothing. And now I'm just gonna do a quick rinse. All right, now I'm gonna do the hydrating toner. Mm, it smells so good. I gotta make sure I don't use as much as I did yesterday. I like Clarins products because they feel very pure and natural. Oh no, I think I used too much toner again. It just comes out so quick and that spout. But yeah, their products feel really pure and not synthetic. It almost has like a spa-like experience, which I like. Yeah, it's so nice. It's very soothing, especially in the morning. Except I'm mad again, because I wasted too much of it. There's already like, it just comes out so quick and I already like used too much from the top. Oh, I don't know why I do that. I even try, it's like my thing is too. And now I definitely feel pretty invigorated and nice. And next, the moisturizer. Okay, now I'm gonna put on all of the creams, but first it's the gel eye cream. I think I'm just gonna stick to this one for the day, because I put it on last night, but it's actually for the daytime and I'm just gonna put it on my finger because yesterday I squeezed it on my eye and it took out too much. I'm just gonna gently put it under my eyes. It's supposed to help with dark circles and puffiness. So I'll probably need that today considering I'm so sleep deprived. Just rub it under my eyes. And now I'm gonna use the hydrating cream. This one's nice. It feels really good. It's a like petal soft that on my face. Oh now the cat hair stuck to my hand. Rub that on. And this feels good. I like Clarins. I'm impressed, especially for the price. Yeah, my skin feels so soft. I actually must like it better than Estee Lauder, and if you consider how much cheaper it is for the price. And now I'm putting on the Gorgeous Cream. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the container. I don't need much though, I'm just gonna put a little bit. I think it'll be nice under my foundation. And this one smells so good too. It's like so invigorating and smooth. It's really nice. It's like a very luxurious cream. Now my skin feels so good. Now I just got on my foundation and makeup and head to work. So I'll check back with you guys later.
Hello lovelies. So I'm gonna just wash my face with the cleansing milk. And so far my favorite part of the routine is actually the gorgeous moisturizer. To be honest, I just love the way it feels on my skin and I feel like I always forget about Lush and I wanna try it again. This cleanser is pretty good too. It is very moisturizing and good if you have dry skin. And now I'm just gonna put on the toner. I don't mind the toner, but I kind of like things that exfoliate my skin and get rid of like dead skin cells and stuff like that. And I find that this toner doesn't really do that. It's like very nice on sensitive skin. It's soothing, but I personally want something a little bit more multitasking. I don't really have anything against it. I'm not sure I'd buy it again. And it is kind of expensive. I just need something with a little more oomph but it feels good on my skin. And I also don't like that it like comes out so fast. Like, look at this, it's been like a few days and I feel like it just comes out of the spout way too fast and then I'm like used it all up. It's my fault too, but it's like hard to control the pour. I mean, it definitely feels good. Don't get me wrong. I guess I could combine it with another exfoliating toner or something, but I don't know, I feel like I need more. And now I'm gonna put on the lotion. I like this lotion, but I feel like it's not like the most amazing thing I've ever used. I mean, it's good. I think if you have sensitive dry skin, I just have no real complaints. It's not overwhelming with fragrance, but I feel like I need more. Like I need like retinol, um, something that brightens my skin. I just need like extra oomph. But I think it says it's supposed to target fine lines and wrinkles, but I don't know. It's like I'm bored with it, if that's a possibility. But I really like this one, mainly because I love the smell and I just feel like it's really hydrating and it's just like a really good cream. And you really don't need much. And I just love the feeling of it when I like glide it over my skin. I, just, I feel like it makes my skin feel so nice and soft. I would definitely keep using this. I also love putting it on my skin before I go to bed at night. So that's my favorite part of the skin routine so far. And the gel eye cream doesn't really do anything for me. I'm not really a fan, to be honest. Um, maybe I just don't have really puffy eyes, but I don't know, yeah. So I don't think I'd buy that again either. I mean, I think it kind of feels refreshing. It could be cool if you like put it in the fridge or something. But yeah, overall, I mean, I'm not against the skincare routine, but definitely my favorite part is the Lush cream. Morning lovelies, it is Sunday morning and I'm just getting ready to go to work. So I'm gonna use the milk cleanser. My skin feels really soft this morning. I love that Lush moisturizer. Like, honestly, it's really soft and smooth. So I'm just getting ready to go to work. Um, and yeah, it's just a short little shift for a few hours and then I have a new video coming out this morning and yeah, and then I'm gonna go work on some other stuff when I get home, like scripts and stuff like that for next week and like brainstorm some video ideas. But yeah, this milk cleanser is good too. I do like it. It's good if you have like dry, sensitive skin and you want something moisturizing, especially in the winter. And now I'm gonna do the toner and try not to use so much. I think I'm gonna mix it with the Pixi Glow Tonic because they sent me another one and this one's like halfway full. So, and it'll kind of add some of the exfoliating. I feel like this doesn't have any of that and it bugs me. Um, so I'm gonna mix it with that. I had a fun video idea where I um, use my favorite beauty products from when I was like a teenager. So that'd be like Y2K, like early 2000s like super late 90s. So I remember using like Clinique and I think I wore like Gap Dream Perfume. And then, yeah, I don't know. There's some other products too. Like this really nice Maybelline eyeshadow that I loved. It was like frosted pink. I should go look for some old photos and see. I think that'd be a fun video. Like nostalgic, trying to remember which products I used. I haven't used Clinique in like, I don't know, a long time, probably since then. 
or at least the early 2000s. But I always see it at work. I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna try it. All right, now onto the cream, the Clarins. Surprise, Princess Diana didn't use anything with retinol. Unless she did, she had some other products she was using. So I'm like, this isn't enough exfoliation and like brightening and stuff just on its own. Definitely moisturizing, and like gentle. But maybe in the 90s, people didn't really use retinol. I don't know. Because I was too young then. I'm sure my mom didn't use retinol. Maybe it's like a newer thing, all these exfoliating skincare things, but they must have used something. I do, I was thinking last night too, because I don't like the container that the Lush creams come in because they're kind of boring. I thought, what if I put them in some of my vintage cosmetic containers and transferred them? Thought about that for a second. I do love this moisturizer, it's so good. They have a vanishing cream too, that I saw on the website that I'm kind of interested in. This one's just so luxurious. I also use the Rose, have a rosy cheeks face mask. I used that the other morning, it was so good. And they gave me a free sample of a body lotion I tried and it's really good. I'm like, oh, I don't want more. So you go through phases and I'm obsessed. I'm not sure if I like this eye cream to be honest. It doesn't really, oops, do anything for me in terms of puffiness. Well, my eyes do look pretty puffy right now because I'm kind of tired. So I guess I can like monitor them at work and see if this helps bring down the puffiness. I think it could be good if you like put it in a fridge or something. So it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel that great. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna be late, so I better hurry and put on my makeup. Hello, lovelies. So today is the last day of Princess Diana's skincare routine. And I'm gonna say I'm a little bit excited that it's over. I have nothing really against it, but I feel like I need more exfoliation in my routine. This one seems very basic. I think it's good if you have sensitive skin. I'm just wondering if Princess Diana had like other serums or something she used to. Because I feel like this is like a good base, but it just needs more oomph. But I don't think it's bad. I mean, this cleanser is good and everything. It's very moisturizing and it feels natural on my skin. I have nothing against the toner either. I just feel like considering this has been like, this will be day seven, I just think used up way too much for the price and it doesn't do anything in terms of exfoliating but it has a nice like kind of alpine smell to it it definitely feels good on my skin but i don't know if i'd buy it again to be honest um i did try clarence face oil before and i really liked it and i think if i were to buy something from clarence i think it'd be that oil again it smelled really good but this like feels good on my skin. It doesn't like dry it out or irritate it or anything like that. So that's the good part about it. And the eye cream doesn't really do anything for me. It's kind of boring. The gel, it doesn't really get rid of dark circles or depuff in my opinion. It's just okay. I probably wouldn't buy it again either. And the face cream, it's nice. It has like a really subtle scent and I feel like it is moisturizing. I like that it seems very natural, so the fragrance isn't overpowering, and it feels really good when I put it on. And as I mentioned before, my favorite part of the whole routine is the Lush Gorgeous Face Cream, which I love just because it smells so good, and it's very moisturizing. It's like my favorite part. I definitely would buy this again. It feels really nice. So that is it for Princess Diana's skincare routine. Oh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products? And let me know if you want me to do any other movie stars next. And also thank you new members who joined my membership this month. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.